uh, yeah, uh, you know, we were really focused on, you know, improving our defense. And in this game, you know, they pose a lot of problems. They had a really good post player, a really good shooting. Uh, you know, 45, 50% of their shots come from the three point line. So there was that, you know, how are we going to defend that? I felt like after Patterson hit a couple, he hit his first three. You know, we didn't want that to happen. It was in the scout report, but we adapted well on the, you know, on the fly. I think we were down one, or it was a one-point game. And but uh, tonight it was about our our guys coming off the bench. Uh, I thought it was Anthony Holland came out and gave us great minutes. Wilhelm uh, Braxton, uh, Frank came out. Uh, um, you know how Frank is when you see his energy, uh, especially on the defensive end. Defensive rebounding, we've been focusing on. So to see him go out there and do that, that was really good. In the second half, uh, we just, I, you know, we focused on, you know, just making sure that we were talking, communicating different lineups in there. Um, but uh, tough win, uh, and uh, proud of our guys. I asked Frank about the Colorado State game where he only had one rebound, and asked what he motivated him, you know, for tonight. Did you have a talk with him at all, or is he the kind of guy that you just kind of? Like I didn't. Uh, Coach Hobby works with with the bigs, and was 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 talking to him about. Uh, you know that that should never happen again, and uh, you know Frank's the you know these guys. It's all about how you respond after you don't play well, and uh, and and they responded tonight, and you know this whole season is about us, one step at a time, uh, one one foot in front of another, and there was some good growth. The thing that I was a little disappointed today is some of our turnovers. Uh, they were uh, they were head scratchers, um, which we're going to have to be way better. As we move forward in that area, for sure. Yeah, the, uh, 44 to 26 on the boards. I mean, that has to be something. That you need. Yeah, we. Yeah, you know, the rebounding part for sure. Um, you know, we've we've really focused on it. You know, we we're we're getting them to miss on their first shot, and now we've just got to finish with the rebounding. And it's not just one guy; it's it's all five. And so that's where we just just got to keep growing, keep getting better, uh, keep focusing on it, and. Um, you know, hopefully we can turn that statistical part of our our team up, get better. Uh, is it getting to a point where you think your defense can be a weapon and, and like change games for, for, for you guys? You know what, I think so. I, uh, you know, we're still, you know, you know, we're playing man this is the first time uh, and we're getting better at it. It's kind of like when we, our first year playing zone, you just, you just got to get better every day. You know, your pick and roll defense, your help defense. Uh, we're we're seeing a lot of different type of offenses. Colorado State has one of the best offenses in the country, and curling and cutting. We played against uh, great guards. We played against great big guys. Uh, uh, we played against isolation. Uh, we played against a team that didn't run any ball screens, <laughs> but that's very rare in college basketball. So we've got, you know, that's how you get an education, right? You keep playing these other teams, you start defending these actions. And so that's where we're, we're getting better, we're becoming more connected. And, uh, you know, go home, watch this film. Uh, you know, how are we gonna get better individually and collectively and move forward? What did you feel in terms of time about nine minutes ago in the first half when you guys started to go on that each end of the two You know what, we were gonna play a lot of guys uh, and, you know, so, that can also, uh, you know, create rhythm problems and different things like that. Uh, but we were able to press a little bit, get in transition, get some easy baskets, and uh, you know, the, you just kept, you know, pound the rock. You just got to keep pounding the rock. You know, just keep pounding the rock, and and that's what they did tonight. I shot of Anthony Hall what I thought I was going to see all year, but tell how big is that to get him going? Like that? I think really good. Um, you know, we uh, we came back. He didn't play in Vegas. It was one of those ones. As a coach, we're like, gosh, I, you know, he he brings so much to the table. He can shoot. He's a great leader. Um, he's all about the right stuff. He's all about winning. And wanted to get him uh, some reps today. And I thought he was really good in the game. He shot it really comfortably. He's been working hard. And a guy as we move forward that you know is going to help impact us reaching our potential for sure. But he can really shoot the ball. Seems like he's, you know, he's feeling more comfortable with our guys. Our guys are feeling really comfortable with him. We'll just keep moving forward. How much of a testament is it to your depth where Keon Brooks doesn't have his best night, but other players try to pick up the slack and, and try to 
bounce that out? You know, he's a great player. Um, you know, we just we have a lot of depth, and we just kept focusing on. Uh, you know, it's all about the team, all about playing for something greater than yourself. And uh, it could be a different guy on any given night. Um, and uh, you know that's what we believe. And so um, KB is a great leader. And uh, you know, it's I'm sure he can let out a sigh of relief that on a certain night he might not be at his best. You know, that other guys pick that up. Yeah, we got to keep, you know, same thing. Just got to keep, keep practicing, keep shooting. I felt like, you know, we still, they still drew, how many fouls did they draw? They still drew, drew 17 fouls. I felt like, you know, we got we to gotta get better with, you know, putting them on the line on silly, uh, you know, yeah, ticky tack, reaching, different things. We got to be more disciplined there as, as we move forward. Um, and so I thought we were better, but there was still a couple ones that you're going, please stop. You know, we, we just got to be better in a couple areas there. Gonzaga Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Who do we play? <laughs> Saturday? That team on the east side. Yeah. How big, how big is this game just for confidence, like guys like Anthony and Frank going into that game? <laughs> you know, listen, you, you just, you know, you're always building your team. Uh, we... In our coaching staff, we are not doing our job if all our players aren't playing at their highest confident level within our system. And uh, Anthony hasn't played, and he played exceptionally confident tonight. Uh, Wilhelm uh, Braxt. And so, you know, we're really happy for them. And, uh, you know, all these teams, we've, we've played a really tough schedule. We've had a lot of reps against some, some really good teams. And we'll have another one coming on on Saturday. And, um, you know, we've you know we talked about getting over the hump, and we're being close, and hopefully we can play our best game. What can the counties do to find some minutes? Uh, you know, he's you know our our, our depth. I you know, just philosophically, what I do, he's got just got to keep working hard. You know, I don't expect him to be happy. I don't want him to be happy. I want him to be professional, and I want him to work harder and use. A chance to use adversity to become great. Um, you know, nothing ever. You, know, you never reach greatness not going through adversity. And so, part of our job is teaching them how to do that. And uh, you know, a lot of a lot of players, a lot of programs, a lot of people have business, basketball, football, anything in life go through adversity. It's all how you respond, and uh, that's what I'd like to see. Thanks, coach. Thank you.